Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Health at Home first edition of Food Conversations and Coaching that uh, Sage and I are so excited to be bringing together both of our geniuses and supporting you all through the next 30 days. Tonight, I just wanted to jump on and, and really support everybody in the transition into the uh, reset protocol um, and just open up with a few lines about really discussing where you're at and understanding how best we can support you because ultimately, um, this is all about you. And if you watch the first recording, you would know that we spoke about how um, we are willing to meet you where you're at. This is this is the entire space of this is um, managing stress and managing your current life situation, but also knowing that whatever you manage is good enough. Like there is no space for self doubt or, um, or or guilt or anything like that. It's really about you finding where you're at right now and utilizing the protocol as best as you can and knowing that whatever you put in is enough and, and we're going to meet you there and support you with whatever that needs to be to look like to, to help you enjoy this process and see some shifts and changes and gra gain greater awareness of um, where you are, where you want to be and what the steps are to get there. So uh, most of you should have by now activated your immune booster protocol. If uh, EJ, you've done that on your computer? Yep. Excellent. So through that, there would have been all the steps and processes to go through the end, answering all the questions. And then you'll see your 10 day plan for diplomats. And well, everyone gets the 10 day plan. You'll see which days are um, optimized. So which days are reset and which days are optimizing. For us diplomats, we've got 10 days of resetting, which is wonderful and a great challenge that I am in the middle, in the thick of it with you all. Um, so uh tonight or tomorrow or when you're watching this replay post any questions or any thoughts that come up for you throughout this um ej you lucky duck you get to be coached wholly and solely tonight which is wonderful um so i guess really it's just about going is there any questions that have come up about the protocol before we begin um as to everything is there anything that's come through for you ej uh no not that i can think of right now Cool. Have you had a look through your food list and, and looked at what's being recommended for you? Is this for the immunity protocol? Yep. No, I haven't. Okay. So you're just doing just general health and well-being? Well, I just was kind of coming back to following the, I was going to do the, um, I guess the detox. Um, That's what this is. Yeah. Yeah. So I just the usual one for diplomats. Yep. Yep. So if you use that immune booster protocol, that will give you exactly what you need. Okay. exactly what you're seeking that will have everything that you want in there plus a little bit extra chinese herbal medicine which in the current climate would be perfect oh. mm -hmm. so um yeah just go along to that top um banner and initiate that fully and go through all those steps and let that one guide you for the next 10 days um and that will give you the reset um so what would be your what, what what's the outcome that you're actually looking to achieve at the moment ej so obviously, as you know, I did PH 360 with you about a year ago and I find that I just got off track mm -hmm. over the last six months, to be honest. Um, and I just got back into like bad habits and I'm here because I want to get back into it again and mm -hmm. be able to start following it again and be more... I don't want to use the word strict or disciplined because it sounds really like it's not like, oh. um, a self-aware. Mm. Uh, yeah, but I just noticed that I haven't been, um, I noticed I haven't been feeling that great uh, in terms of my, I suppose, my energy um, when I'm not doing it. Mm. Yeah, when I'm, I'm like, I'm, or I'm or, or feeling yeah not great and like you know as a new i'm in a i've been in a relationship the last six months and <laughs> forever yeah. back and um which has been amazing it is amazing um but you know we like to have chocolate and um he's oh, he's just, he's just, you know the way he does things so mm -hmm. um and and so yeah so 
I, but he'll be fully supportive of whatever I need to do. Um, Beautiful. Yes. Has he been interested at all to find out which number he is? Um, I'm going to talk to him about that tonight after this call. Yeah, and we'll see. Yeah, so we'll do it this weekend. Awesome. Anybody yeah. who's watching the replay, if you get partners or family done, send their emails across to us and we can find out where they sit on the wheel. And that creates the most tantalising conversations about relationships and, and just the crossover of so much about them. <laughs> Mm, so what would be your best outcome then? So you've spoken about how um, you feel like you've let go of the understanding you had before, or the awareness you had before and you're not feeling so great in regards to energy. So what does the actual good outcome look like for you? Um, Considering your partner as well. Yeah, feeling really good and, look at this me, but anyway, um, like I feel like feeling really good in my body Mm-hmm. It's probably one of the biggest things. I've been feeling really good in my body um, and feeling like I'm in a, a, a routine that really serves me. Mm-hmm. And yeah, more, more energy. Mm-hmm. Uh, being more, yeah, more self, like self-aware about what I'm putting, like what I'm eating and when I'm exercising. I did find it quite difficult last time to keep up the exercise in the afternoon because it just so lacks my schedule out. But since I've been home, the last couple of days I've been doing it, it's been actually quite good. Yay! Some um, one of the blessings that I'm I am am talking about at the moment is the fact that COVID has allowed everyone to step into their true zones, right? Yeah. Everyone is being able to be like, oh. Shay says I should train in the afternoon or in the morning. I'll find the time and try that now. <laughs> I was like, oh, I've just got like some time in between clients. And I, I'm still wearing my workout gear. <laughs> yeah. um, so it's been good. And also it's good because um, there's been obviously people posting like yourself and my gym has been posting uh, fitness videos and stuff. So it's been, well, but obviously in the, in the PH360 there's videos as well. Um, love to see you get up and do the dances dances i haven't seen those i do dancing every thursday night online and it would suit you to a t amazing what's mm. it that with do you do it ten dollars a session i do it it's ten dollars a session you buy a sixth pack and um yeah it's it's so much fun via zoom i love dancing. well you know i love dancing so that's one of the things i want to do i'm um, um, I have some dance videos that I want to bring out and I just don't feel good about being seen in right now. Mm-hmm. And I noticed that, you know, not feeling great in my body is fix my, fix, uh, how I show up online. It fix my intimacy. Um, yeah. So yeah, I feel like I don't want to be seen as much. So I really definitely want to. And, and, and really more to just feeling like, I suppose, you know, when I first started doing PH 360, what it really did for me was that it, um, I took a lot of the shame out of mm. things I was doing that I thought were really bad. <laughs> and um, it was really about, oh, I'm not, I had to feel bad about those things. Like, I'm actually just doing what's, you know, looking at things that were good for me and, yeah, like feeling bad about if I slept in, you know, when actually that's that's what my body type wants is to sleep in. You know, feeling bad if I'm not, I've just wasted the morning if I'm getting, not getting up at 5.30. And now it's like, actually, you know, like you can stay in bed till eight o'clock. It's a big, it's still a big mindset shift, but it, um, but it's great because my partner gets about 4.30 to go to work and I'm like, oh, he's like, can you set your alarm, babe? I'm like, I'm, no, you can set your alarm. <laughs> Um, but I go back to sleep, uh, but it's great because, um, I can just say is that, you know, if I want to sleep until eight o'clock, I'm like, this is just what's best for my body type. And, you know, he's just so accepting of that. Like, it's not about, oh, I, I get up early and she sleeps in. I mean, he wouldn't care anyway, but there's just so much more freedom and permission and that's what mm. my body type instead of that kind of pressure that 
I guess the most exciting thing is that you should right, in our in our community like get up early and get to the day, the win the day, and blah blah. blah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we we know that I've had many rants about this. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So you you, I love coaching someone who is a coach because you just know where I'm about to go to. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so you you understand the feelings that you no longer want you're understanding the feelings that you're seeking and what what you want out of it and my other question was going to be do you remember a time when you felt really good and you've just covered that too so I really appreciate yeah. you being able to go back to understanding the protocol and what that did for you so I guess with all of that understanding your partner is a definite new thing in your life and that new balance and whatnot um and and knowing where you want to get to and what it's going to take to get there what are the obstacles that you think might come up like what would be the things that are going to happen yeah well already this weekend my partner's coming over and i was like he co- so he cooks for me <laughs> i don't ever cook he always cooks for me <laughs> right. and he's a good he's, he used to be a chef so it's amazing um, yeah. this could be a great household to move to yeah, well, he doesn't, he doesn't live here, but yeah, he's, he's, he loves cooking. Um, so I was just like, well, I don't want to go on a, like a detox now. Like, I want to wait until like, after the weekend and when he's not here. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. Like, so it's more like I definitely notice when I want to spend time with him, that feels like I'm always like, I'll just do the detox when we're not together. <laughs> and that, you know, that's, that's when we'll do it. And, and so I've got, just been kind of easing into just changing a few things. So changing, like not eating as much chocolate or just not having in the house, um, exercising in the afternoon. So I've just started off with a few small things to start with. Perfect. Um, Cause I feel like I tried to do the, de- I started doing the detox and then I basically, you know, after two days sabotaged it. So, <laughs> what what do you think caused the uh quote sabotage uh, i got hungry and i was i saw a muesli bar in my bag and i was like oh i'll start probably tomorrow <laughs> a muesli bar then it's going good all day and then i saw a muesli bar and what do you think uh so you were hungry so um what do you think you could have done instead to support the fact that you were hungry? Ah, probably, uh, I don't know. Yeah. It's a brilliant one. I was reading through the diplomat um, back end and it suggests that diplomats always eat. When we're in detox, don't feel like you're going without eat your green, like your recommended foods as much as you possibly can until you feel satisfied. So whether that's having carrot sticks or salad or whatever it might be. Um, so it definitely recommends that please don't let yourself be hungry. If you need to eat more vegetables and more fruit during this time to feel satisfied, then do that because you're still sticking with the protocol of having the correct ingredients. It's just, that's the main thing. The time frames, yes, but um so knowing that uh what what do you think you could do to support yourself next time throw the music bar away <laughs> give it to the dogs and um they would love it um chickens um and obviously just not have that kind of the stuff in the house that is not on my list Yep. That's because I live quite far away from the shop, so it's quite easy to like. Um, and to uh, yeah, just have more food, the stuff that I can eat. Yep. And what would that look like? Um, well, I think I'm allowed fruit, aren't I? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it would be a piece of fruit. Uh, maybe what you suggested for carrot sticks. And um, so, how would you how would you look at your ho- whole day? I mean, because there's a whole twelve hours generally that you're going to be awake. How would you? What would be your plan to support yourself through that? In terms of your food. 
Well, I think I can probably wait. I can. My body usually will tell me I'm hungry when when I wake up, and then the part of my brain goes, "Okay, you need to eat now." But I actually know I could wait longer. I could actually yeah. give it a longer time. Um. Yeah, but yeah, and sometimes I do because usually I'm doing busy doing other stuff. So I know that I, I know that I can wait longer because I've done it plenty of times before. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, like, what suggestions do you have for me? What would your breakfast typically look like? What would be an easy way for you to plan and prepare that? Okay, so breakfast I'm pretty good with. So, um, like, on a detox or just normally? Um, let's go with detox for now. Cause that's the one that you're, you're finding your, you're having abrasion against the concept of yeah. succeeding with it. So, uh, my, hopefully this is all allowed. <laughs> um, sweet potato, mushrooms yeah. and avocado. Okay. I, I cook up those three things together. Nice. Okay. I think on the detox, the avocado may be questionable because it's a fat source. Okay, I'll have a look. Yeah, so during a detox is generally, for dip loads, it's no no fats, no sugars, no, no fats, no nighttime sugars, and no um, major carbohydrates. But sweet potato at breakfast is a pretty good idea. Or lunch, like the root vegetables are great. Lunch is when you want your gargantuous biggest meal. So um, what else do you think you could put in there instead of avocado? Do you have your app on your phone or are you talking to me on your phone? I've got my app. To grab that one out and always just sort of reference back to your Shay app and she will always guide you as to what's going to be better recommended. Yeah, Shay is amazing. <laughs> we love Shay. And she's getting better and better and better. Yeah. Oh, man, she looks a bit you made a good point earlier as far as your planning goes to get rid of all those tempting foods out of the house before you start the immune boosting protocol. Mm. Um, and even if you can only do five days and five days is awesome. Yeah. If you do one day, if you do two days, it's awesome. So if you think about what's realistic and 10 days at this point in time isn't realistic, that's okay. We just set a realistic um, goal or plan for right now. And if that's not 10 days, it's if it's three days, then awesome. Yeah, awesome. Great. Yeah. yeah. And I think once you start to achieve that smaller amount, you then go, oh, that wasn't so bad. Now I can do five. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Now I can do eight. Now I can do 10. Or you could say, I want to do three days and then take each one day at a time. And that's up to you, whatever you think would work for you um, and works realistic now. And we make those rules up. No rules, your rules. Um, I actually heard this great thing the other day is like setting yourself up for success by planning, like, I'm going to do it this day instead of doing 10 days and then failing after two. Mm. It's, um, Really like the mind goes, okay, we did one day, so now we can do another day. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, well, I'm on Shay. What vegetables or f what fruits or vegetables are top for you at the very, very top of the list that you could see consuming for breakfast? Uh, the food list? On the food list. On the food list, yes. Uh, Rambles? What was it? Raspberries? Yep. Pumpkin. Yes. Onions. Ooh. Anything else? Strawberries. Yep. Papaya. Uh, orange. Spinach. Oh, yes, yeah, spinach. I put the spinach in there as well. Yeah. Excellent. Um, so hearing that, your normal sweet potato, mushroom and avocado, what do you think you could do instead that would be more beneficial to you than the sweet potato, mushroom and avocado? Is there something similar you could make of, of taste? Instead of the sweet potato, avocado and mushroom? No, I have no idea. A fruit salad probably. <laughs> yeah. 
Without you could them. just you could still do savory if you wish to. There's plenty there you could do savory. What with spinach? Mm hmm What else? Onions? Yep. What else? Pumpkin? Yep. There you go. Does this just give me another option? Yep. And it would do it would do the same thing as what you were having before. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Because you, you, how did you do your sweet potato? Oh, because they're not, oh, because they're on my top. Mm. Ah, uh, okay, I got it. What was that for? Sweet potato, I thought that would be good. It might only be for now. And always remember for everyone watching this, whatever is being given to you right now in that food list is only temporary. It's only recommended to give you the best you can right now to shift all of the parameters of which you are right here, right now, to where you want to go. And it will change with you. Oh, uh, yeah. Sweet potato is only good, not excellent. You. <laughs> only for a little bit. Only for a little bit. Eggs are good, though. I have eggs, but not on the Egg. Awesome. So, and you like fruit salad too, don't you? Yeah, I'd have fruit salad as well, yeah. Yep, yep. Would you get bored of having just that same breakfast every day or would you look at changing it up? I'm good with having same breakfast every day. Nice. Yep. Awesome. It's easy. I like this routine. It's good. Yum. Sometimes I like to mix it up. That's when I like if I go out for breakfast or something. Yep. I get that. I get that. I'm doing it now. <laughs> Shopping tomorrow. <laughs> so, so tell me, what does lunch look like then? Knowing that lunch is your main refeed, the main meal. At the moment, it's like a, a salad and sweet. Again, I have I eat a lot of sweet potato, mm. um, which probably should be swapping to pumpkin. <laughs> um, Perfect. Yes, sweet potato salad. I've been having for lately. I've been having for locals. Oh, yum. Yum. So yeah. have a look. How's chickpeas sit on your food list? God. But they're sweet potato waffles. <laughs> <laughs> I have a sweet potato with my sweet potato. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, chickpeas. Is that what's in yep. waffles? But they're flavoured ones. One zucchini. Falafels, you clean it. Uh, okay, once a week or less. Cool, that's cool. So then that might be like your, uh, one day of the week you choose to have that one. Yeah. So... Is there another legume that's on there that's rated higher for you? What comes on the legume? Legume. Uh, so lentils, black beans, um, those sorts of things. Um, not really, I don't think so. Others, if you've scrolled that far and you haven't found any, then they might not be rated very high for you at the moment. <laughs> no, there's nothing much. Cool. Yeah. So during, during the protocol, it generally will reduce a lot of the things that will cause inflammation. This is for everyone. The, the output of the recommended way of eating, so diplomats is salad, um, is, and, and, and I think activators is juices and broths, I think, and then smoothies for connectors. So it just depends on which health type you are as to what's going to be recommended for you and stick with that as best as you can. Um, but just know that with the diplomats, we have such a long digestive tract that the objective of a reset is to allow your digestion to clean itself out. So anything that's not rated higher up in your food lists for everyone will be something that may not be as great for your body to do the process it needs to do through the reset. Reset. Mm. Yeah. Makes sense. And there's, you could be roasting things. You could be steaming things, having it raw. Yeah. So what do you think lunchtime might look like for you then? Do you think, you, have you got this sort of stuff prepped or do you think you might need? Oh, I'd have to prep. I mean, I guess 
I could just put more. I haven't really been eating meat lately, so that's fine. Um, and then I feel like that really limits me. Um, I guess I mean I could add it in again. Are you wanting to do the detox, or are you wanting to just um, stick? yeah the detox here yeah, you know for the detox yep. obviously not. Um, oh, I've got lentils in there. Hey, the good old lentils. I have no idea how to cook lentils. They are amazing. Amazing. So maybe when you reach um, towards the end of your protocol, maybe add some lentils in there. But I mean, for you at the moment, I think considering your goal is basically as general to um, the protocol as you can, lentils are definitely a better choice, but there's still a high protein and high-ish carbs. It's just that... Um, during the detox, for diplomats, it's more about salads, leafy greens, getting your magnesium, your phosphorus, your zinc, all those things in there, your trivilla that are really going to assist your body in detoxifying and purifying. So you're allowed to have lentils if you really want to, um, but it just depends on how far you want to go into supporting your system through the immune, immune protocol. Um, but if you're having one of those days and lentils is the worst thing you have. Yeah, well, it's excellent on here. Wonderful. So, I'm not sure if you've initiated your immune protocol fully, which is totally fine. I will not. I'll have, I'll have another look. I thought I had, but I will have a look. Yeah, perfect. So, when you've just mentioned that you're going to need to do some prepping, when when do you think that's going to happen? Um, Monday. <laughs> Monday. Awesome. So, when's the shopping happening? Oh, on the weekend. I on the weekend. Awesome. And when's the food list being created for the shopping list? Uh, when's the shopping list being created before the shopping? Tomorrow. Yeah. By when? Uh, it depends on my client's schedule. Um, <laughs> by 5.30. Nice. And you know where you're going to go shopping? Yes. Excellent. And Monday prepping. Yes. Yeah. Is there anything that's going to get in the way of that? Um, no. Awesome. Awesome. Do you know what you're actually going to make? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to use the um the food list uh the recipes that are in the in the thing for salads or no uh i'm not really good at following recipes so i'll i'll have a look i'll definitely have a look but i'll probably create my own recipes. stuff beautiful. Yeah. beautiful and just quickly checking in do you with doing a detox protocol do you remember the sort of situation that you want to be doing for your dinners well, it's a light dinner, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So just a smaller size. I sort of, is, I'm not going to mention anything. What do you think you could do to assist with um, keeping it smaller? Um, using a smaller plate. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And um, do you remember what else helps with cravings? No. I believe we went through it last time. Um, Generally for diplomats and guardians, it's like a warm liquid, so a warm tea. Okay. Yeah, I'm good at drinking tea. That's good. Yeah. yeah. It's actually amazing at curbing our cravings. Oh, really? That's awesome. Mm. Especially after a meal. Yeah. Would you recommend not drinking at the same time as your meal? Absolutely. Absolutely. You want to do 20 to 30 minutes prior and about 30 to 50 minutes after. Okay, I've got to get used to that because... Me and my partner, we he went and saw a, um, like a colonics and they said it's like really bad to actually drink while you're eating. And we're like, it right. out one day and he's like, no, nah, I've got to drink. Like, <laughs> such a habit. Um, so what was that? 30, tell me. About 20 to 30 minutes beforehand and 30 to 50 minutes after. Okay. But just remember, it's just, it's just reframing it. So when you get thirsty, it's actually, think about it as your body's taking the liquid out of your body to process in the stomach. 
So when you get that thirstiness, it's like, oh, my stomach's kicked in. That's okay. Like just changing that narrative of like, I'm thirsty. No, no, no. Actually, my stomach's just initiating digestive juices to do the work. If I put fluid in now, I'm diluting it and upsetting my stomach. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get used to it? Yeah. 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 I don't touch it now. Brad was always like, do you want to drink with dinner? And I was like, no, stop doing it. He always had reflux. I was like, hmm. Hello. <laughs> Same with the cold things. Like I even, um, I'm not great with microwaving things, but I, I even zapped my um, salad in the microwave for 20 seconds today because I was like, mm, it's so cold. <laughs> so it's not good to have cold things? Yeah. Yeah. But it's the same. I, I always say like, imagine you are the earth. And if we took ice cubes and put them inside the center of the earth right now, what would that naturally do to the outside of the earth? wreak havoc mm. even just a one degree shift in the center of the earth would cause absolute havoc out here outside so your body's exactly the same your your body tries to thermoregulate consistently at its own temperature and when we assault it with cold things it just is like oh it's a natural stress response and the body just goes into this jolt and depending on which phenotype it affects them in different ways and in different severities mm. Interesting. Mm, all the juicy things and thoughts so um hmm. any reflections on this that you no any anything that you would no that's not a good question either um anything you want to add sage <laughs> uh no i think that's really awesome so we've got a shopping list being done by tomorrow Shopping being done on Monday? We on the weekend? On the weekend to start on Monday. That's sweet. And then how many days are you doing? Uh, I haven't decided how many days. Five is the number that gets popped into my head. Nice. Five. And is five realistic? Because you've mentioned before that you've tried it before and then, um, and then bailed on it after a few days. Three is realistic. I'm going to start cool. with Let's say three then? Yeah. And then... Would you be, and I'm, I am leading you along a little bit here, but would you be happy to go day by day after that? Yes. Cool. Mm. That's awesome. Mm. And nothing's going to get in the way. We've got an awesome plan. Is so, there anything you need from us as support to, to help you get through that? Um, my only question is about exercise mm -hmm. um, during the detox. Recommended to keep doing or not. I just had a look at the detox protocol for diplomats and there's some great recommendations in there for what's a really good movement pattern and what is really good fitness within that. And like in the fitness is in the... I'll um, share screen because I think everyone else may not quite know where to go for this either. As a guess, I'd say from afternoon, easy walks, probably. Yeah, so here it is. So there's some yoga between three and five. So day two's got some oh, yoga awesome. between three and five. Oh, well, good. I like yoga. That's so good. I haven't seen that. Mine wouldn't activate. My um, my immune boosting protocol wouldn't activate, and I didn't want to do it again now. So oh. I haven't seen this part. That's really good. Yeah. So there's all of this here. So this will show you. This is even for diplomats. It says, hey, um, today, it's in the morning. It's saying, today, later on. We're going to do some fitness here. Check out the video now so you can get used to the concept and the idea and the effort that's going to be required for you between three and five o'clock. <laughs> so oh. it's, really, it's really important for diplomats to know the plan, know what does my day look like and where's the energy expenditure going to be needed. Mm. And so I can preempt and pre-know and work myself up for that. And so possibly even on the first day, not worrying about the exercise and see how you feel and then maybe integrate it into the second day. Yeah. Today was that, today's my day two. Um, and today I got to five o'clock and I hit the don't want to do anything. Um, but I signed myself up for the dance at 10 minutes two and she let me on. And I got on and did the dance and I was like, oh, that's why I'm doing this. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so things like that, just just um, go with the flow during a detox. If you don't have the energy, maybe a light walk 
out in nature, really, really good for everybody. Um, if that's the worst, if that's the least that you do, then that's epic. Cool. Great. But there's lots of yoga in here. We have beautiful um, day one, day two, there was Erin, gorgeous Erin is there doing some yoga. There's some videos about salad. So throughout your entire protocol program, there are little tidbits, um, little tips and tricks, um, another workout here. So it's only giving you a workout every second day and it's only um, five to 15, uh, how long is the workout? I thought it said five to 15 minutes, but I think that's just to read it. Nope. It's a five minute video. So um, you've got five to 15 minutes. So five minutes would just be doing one round of the exercises. And I assume 15 minutes would be three rounds of the exercises. Awesome. So there's heaps of support within this program. Yeah, that's awesome. And there's us as well. And Amazing. there's us. <laughs> Amazing. Great. Amazing. So are you okay if we keep you accountable for the, the goals and the um, objectives that you've set? Sure. Cool. Yay. How would you like that to look? Um, hmm. uh, okay, either Messenger or your Facebook group, whatever yep. you can tag me in a post or... Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Wonderful. Well, I think, is there anything else you would like to cover, Sage? No, nailed it. Great job. I would only suggest that while doing the, um, the immune boosting protocol or detox, however you're referring to it, is just go easy on yourself as far as training goes and just do what makes you happy, do what makes you feel good because you have enough um, things changing. That would probably be my main suggestion. And for the endomorphs especially, the slower and lower intensity the morning is will assist you. The later you can eat your breakfast, the better. Um, prolong that process and that will assist you with the cravings and the energy later in the day. Um, and just, I say fall in love with understanding that your body doesn't actually need as much food as we believe it does. Yeah. Yeah because it's incredible when you do, we're only doing 10 days in this protocol in the full one, but the proper, proper, proper protocol is 12 days. And it's like just consistently not many calories for those days, but it's incredible how your body and your mind feel at the end of that in understanding how much we pile in food as an emotional response to life. I didn't believe it before I witnessed it, the actual emotional detox that goes along with it and we're actually told to to warn our clients so that they're aware that things will arise and I was like mm, okay I'll believe it when I see it and then I've seen it multiple times and it's actually quite it's actually really really interesting um, when it does happen because there are as your body detoxes your energy detoxes on a cellular level so anything that is misaligned on a cellular level arises and even manifests in their life in order to be resolved it's actually really really interesting to observe so um yeah we should probably be aware of that <laughs> yeah totally yeah, that's one of the other reasons we're doing it as well yeah you got that sorry that's one of my other reasons is to get out of the emotional habitual mm. Yeah, it will just be, it's quite interesting to see that if there are whatever is behind those emotional blocks, as you shift the energy within your cells, those things will coincidentally manifest in your life and a perfect example for you to be able to address them. So these mm -hmm. cycles that we we're speaking about before, it'll come from, if you're aware, it'll manifest and you can bring it into your conscious awareness rather than it being lurking in the shadows there. And it actually happens. It's so, um, it's real. I love seeing it. It's not pleasant for people to go through obviously, but it's really, really cool. So, um, yeah, things will come up for you, which is, which is, I always think it's good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> cool. Well, 
Thank you guys. Anyone who watches the replay who has any questions, thoughts, concerns and desires, please reach out to us and we are here 100% to support you all through this process and know that uh, we are doing it with you. So I will be the diplomat going through all of the emotions, going through all of the processes. Um, I'm already on day two and I can tell you that it's it's incredible to bear witness to the shifts, the changes and the perspectives that pop up. Um, but I'll be in the trenches with you. So reach out. And I'll be coaching you through it. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Thank you both so much. Super great. Thank you. So nice to meet you. Okay. <laughs> nice to see you, Shana. See you,